commentator and get ready for the roar. Richard Isles. They're warming up in the crowd. And the roar sends the field away for the William Hill St. Ledger Stakes. One mile, six and a half furlongs. First to do so was the Anvil who leads from Douglas MacArthur. So the two that were mentioned beforehand as possible pace setters. And it's an O'Brien domination. They hold the first four places early on as the Anvil presses on and leads by a couple of lengths. Douglas MacArthur in second place, racing in third is Venice Beach. And the grey Capri is in fourth place. And the Anvil forging on here, gone five to six lengths clear. Stradivarius in the dark colours with the white face on the inside of Coronet. So they're all racing in stable formation at the moment. Two Gosden horses together. Count Octave racing just ahead of Defoe. And Crystal Ocean settled towards the back of the field. The Anvil setting a brisk pace. The Speedo on our camera alongside is nudging between 40 and 45 miles an hour. And the Anvil is ensuring that the St. Ledger is going to be the traditional test of stamina. Disappearing off into the distance here is 10 to 12 lengths clear. Douglas MacArthur in second place. And third place for Venice Beach. And racing in fourth is the Grey Capri. Stradivarius on the inside of another grey coronet with Count Octave in the maroon colours. Raheen House comes next. Crystal Ocean only has rekindling uh, and Defoe behind at this stage. So they're pressing on towards halfway. The Anvil out in front for Michael Hussey, leading by still 12 lengths. Douglas MacArthur in second place. Venice Beach and Capri. The O'Brien Quartet still clear by three lengths of their rivals. Coronet, Frankie closest, is in fifth place of the other runners with Stradivarius. Various Raheen House on the outside of Count Octave, then Crystal Ocean Defoe and Rekindling is at the back of the pack. So the field are now preparing to enter the final three quarters of a mile. The Anvil for the first time stride just beginning to shorten. He'll be reeled in, changed his legs. You can see there getting weary. The pack will have to try and avoid him. Douglas MacArthur and Venice Beach. Capri is in fourth place. Stradivarius and Coronet are the next two as they prepare to straighten, and the Anvil has given his all. Count Octave. Raheen House, Chris Lotion patiently ridden, Defoe is shaken up and rekindling, they pass the pacemaker and now the mantle is taken over by Douglas MacArthur inside the final half mile in the William Hill St. Ledger, in second place is Venice Beach, the grey Capri in the purple colours moves out, Coronet looks for room, Raheen House down the outside, Count Octave, Chris Lotion still sits pretty, Defoe's been hard at work for a while as the grey pair Capri and Coronet moved alongside Stradivarius as they head now down inside the final two furlongs in the ledger. Stradivarius over on the far side. In the centre, Capri. Coronet trying to get on terms, as is Crystal Ocean. The Grey Capri and Stradivarius lead. Crystal Ocean trying to close. Coronet can give no more. On the far side, Stradivarius. Capri then in third place and closing Crystal Ocean. Rekindling is next. Capri sticking his neck out, holding on bravely. And Capri won the ledger. Capri won it from Crystal Ocean and Stradivarius in a photo for second. Rekindling in fourth. Coronet, no excuses.